It's time to do another Mythbusters episode in GTA Online, where I take some of your myths and see if I can actually confirm them in GTA Online. I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. There is no way that you could start a race drunk in GTA 5. There's the pisswasser animation. Let's drink a couple brewskis. There we go. Drink one more. All right, we're plastered now. Let's start this thing up. Okay, I'm not be I'm not drunk from what I could see. I don't think this is going to work. There's no way. All righty. Are we going to be drunk? Three, two, one, action. Oh my god, we are. Oh my god, we actually are drunk. Oh my god. This makes it so much harder. Oh my goodness, because like it's you can't control the freaking bike. It just starts turning naturally. I honestly did not think this would Okay. Well I honestly didn't think this would work. That is uh kinda cool. Alright, let's see if we can confirm this myth or not. Let's take 20 fat freaking rips, boys. Ooh, baby. Oh, oh shit. Yo, we got too high. I honestly did not expect us to pass out. Wow. I never knew you could pass out from smoking weed in GTA 5. Alright, now we're freaking ripped. So we might as well test to see if it does make us invincible. And for all the people out there who've never smoked weed before, this is not what it's like to be high. Alright, we are invincible! <laughs> or not. Will a fire truck clean a dirty car? We got our car. We got our fire truck. Let's go mess this thing up. It's literally been 10 seconds and I'm already stuck. But lucky for us, we got the up and atomizer. Bam. I swear my cars get dirty so much, but for some reason when I try to make it dirty, I get the tiniest little bit of dirt on my car. Okay, it looks like this van is actually really dirty. So let's see if it works on this instead of on my car. Because this thing... Actually has all kinds of dirt all over it, unlike my car, which is pretty much spotless. All right, will the fire truck clean this minivan up? Three, two, one, fire! Let's get you spotless minivan. You are going to shine. All right, we're literally pushing the car. Since we're pushing the car, it should be getting the dirt off of it, right? Considering how powerful this hose is, this dirt cannot be on there that well. All right, here we go. Moment of truth in three, two, one. How is that even possible? How is it still dirty? You guys saw how powerful this shit is, right? That makes no sense. Like this thing can literally push people, but it can't clean some dirt off of a minivan. Yeah, that, that lady's dead. We, we drowned her. Okay, let's see if it can clean that little bit of dirt off of my car. Let's see. This has to work. We are perfectly hitting the dirty spot on this car. This thing has to be clean. Okay. So it does clean mud. If you get mud on your car, it can be cleaned. But if you get dirt on your car, then it's going to stay forever dirty. Unless you take it to a car wash. Now he did say, can it clean a dusty car? That minivan was pretty damn dusty, but my car was a little bit muddy. So it can clean mud, but it can't clean the dust off of a car. Just before we get into the next myth, let's take a look at this video's sponsor. Have you ever wanted to play GTA 5 as a police officer, or as a doctor, or as a gang member, or drive hundreds of different real cars? If so, check out Grand RP, one of the best roleplay servers in the world. If you click the link down below in the description, when you join, you get $25,000 in-game completely free. Alright, we got our pistol with a suppressor, and if we shoot it, in the middle of the woods, will we get stars? Here we go. Three, two, one. Wait, what? Nah, I'm just joking. I started up the most wanted challenge. Haha, <laughs> I gotcha. Look at all the cops. Oh my god. Okay, but actually, let, let's see if this actually works. Okay, for real now. If we shoot a suppressed gun in the middle of the woods, do we get stars? Here we go. Three, two, one. We're chillin'. I'm pretty sure we could shoot any gun and we won't get stars. Take out a heavy rifle. Take out a freaking laser gun. Yeah, we could pretty much do anything out here. Homing missiles. Yep, we're shooting rockets. Just casually shooting rockets in the middle of a forest. 
But the real question is, what if we're standing in a forest, we shoot a suppressed weapon, but we do it towards a police station? Not really a forest, but, you know, we'll, we'll head up the mountain a little bit. Alright, we have our suppressed weapon, and we're standing in a bush. And fire one bullet, there we go. And we're looking good. What if we, uh, what if we shot a sniper bullet? I believe this, yes, this does have a suppressor on it. We're still good. What if we shot it at a pedestrian? Like, do they even notice? They don't even seem to notice, I don't think. There's a car that stopped right here, let's see. Yeah, they don't even notice. Okay, but what if we take out something that doesn't have a suppressor? Then he shits himself. Yeah, now they're all cutting. Alright, and if we shoot that at a police station? Seems like we're all good. Shoot some grenades. Okay, what if we shoot a missile? They gotta give us stars, right? Like, we're shooting missiles at a police station, but the cops won't do shit. What if we actually blow up a car? Wow, that's actually crazy. We could do all this shit, but if we walk in front... Oh, there we go. Now we got stars. We finally got stars. I mean, I'm not surprised. We should have gotten stars a long time ago. After, like, we shot a freaking minigun at a police station, you would think you would get some cops after you, right? Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps the video up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to comment down below some more myths that you guys want me to bust or confirm in GTA Online. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.